Hey, welcome back to This Week in Victoria. I'm your host, Chris Daly. I will be joined shortly by Brother Gary Moses. We're going to talk about all the action going on in Victoria, all the exciting things going on. But first, these messages. Hey, I just want to take a second to thank you for listening to This Week in Victoria and let you know that it is a wonderful way for you to reach the Victoria and Crossroads area if you have a business. It is a great reach. It is a fraction of the cost of traditional marketing. And it's a much bigger audience, a much more engaged audience. Reach out to myself or Brother Gary if you want to get in front of the Crossroads audience. Have you ever thought about doing your own podcast? It is the absolute best way to grow your brand, spread your message, and build your following. Fresh Media Works can help. We do all the heavy lifting, and you just focus on your message. To find out how easy we can make launching your new podcast, call 713-269-4620 or check us out at freshmediaworks.com. All right, everybody join me in welcoming Brother Gary Moses to the show. How are you doing, Gary? I'm doing great, uh, Chris. Always good to be with you. And, uh, of course, it's been running and gunning and fast and furious and many events. And I know you've seen it. You've probably experienced a bunch of them, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Lots going on, but uh, we've said it many times. Wouldn't have it any other way. Wouldn't have it any other way. You're right. Uh, so I've got a lot going on uh, and really enjoying it. It was a great week last week to, you know, talking to you, and here we go again. And I know we have some stuff. So let's start for Thursday here. Uh, later on this afternoon, I have this child abuse prevention town hall meeting. I'm going to be mm -hmm. the moderator. It's at the Haas venue, 5.30 to 6.30, and that's so important because this is Child Abuse Prevention Month. So important. Right. So we're, we wanted to throw in to help them out there. Uh, and then Thursday, uh, Friday, and Saturday, of course, it's all about the bicentennial uh, this mm -hmm. week. It's 200th year. We have a bicentennial history program, 6 to 8 at the University of Houston, Victoria. Uh, and I looked at that, and I said, that's great. Also, tonight, uh, the Victoria Public Library has jam night, fountain mouth, whatever that is. That's probably a rock and roll, heavy hitting band. Ought to be mm -hmm. a lot of fun. I'll probably go check that out seven to eight o'clock tonight. So got those two. All right. Well, Friday, here we go. Uh, at the University of Houston, Victoria, it's an international food festival. Uh, that's at the UHB campus from five to nine. Uh, it's always a great time. All the different, uh, groups and cultures represented over there at the UHB. And then Friday, continue with the Bicentennial History Symposium, UHB, 9 to 7. It's all about the De Leon history, their family. Uh, and so we've got that. Friday's a big day. They're all big days in, uh, every day now. I uh, want to yeah. mention uh, pre-history uh, in Victoria and the Coastal Bend. That's at the Museum of the Coastal Bend. John Stormont lectured, and that's at 10 o'clock. So a lot of stuff there. And then, of course, Fun Friday at the uh, Victoria Public Library. And this year, this uh, week, this Friday, from 10 to 11, it's chair yoga. How about that one? Nice. All right. Anything you want to throw out there right now, uh, Chris, um, as we check no, on the rest? I, think, coming up? I, I was going to say, I think Friday I will be going to the uh, Victoria History thing at UHV. Uh, yep. And then uh, Saturday will be that day of caring where we uh, – you know, volunteer. That's right. And that is the first thing on my Saturday, uh, yeah. the Victoria Day of Caring. Uh, it's going to be all around town. It's from 8 to 11. They'll all end up meeting at De Leon Plaza, and uh, I'll be uh, emceeing that portion of that uh, ribbon cutting, all that stuff, the pre-bicentennial uh, celebration, uh, ribbon cutting statue celebration. They will be over there. That's a citywide service project, and I figured you, being a good man that you are, you'd be a part of that, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a band during that time. I think uh, all the recipients, those that took part, uh, will get something to eat uh, down there. And uh, I just think it's a great uh, a great uh, event. That before you do the actual ceremony, you have a Victoria Day of Caring. So we'll do that. I'll be on the stage. The new stage is great. Chris, I was on it last week for the nice. uh, Chick-fil-A uh, 
5K run for Young Life, and man, yeah. is that nice up there. You're going to love it, buddy. You are going to love it. <laughs> All right, so that – and then, of course, right after the uh, day of carrying ceremony, I'll pass it on to the city officials for the Daily on Plaza ribbon cutting and statue unveiling. That's from 1 to 3. They'll be the uh, – uh, home of Six Flags Market uh, around the square. Uh, of course, they'll be honoring city founders Martin DeLeon and Patricia De La Garza uh, during that time. And fl- uh, the uh, flag ma- uh, market will be right around there. Uh, and then that evening, brother, to cap it off, the Bicentennial Ball over the Victoria Community Center. Nice. That is good. 6 to 10.30. I got a ticket. I understand they were sold out. But uh, we're going to be down there for a little bit live, the music, uh, food, uh, it's going to be great, uh, and I can tell you, you're going to hear a little bit more history there. So, good stuff. That's a busy Saturday, isn't it? Yes, sir. Sure is. Hey, folks, I want to tell you about something really cool that's coming up. It's called the Business Success Challenge. Actually, it's a series of challenges where myself and Gail Stolzenberg are going to talk with you about several business-related topics. We're going to talk about networking, the right way to network. We're going to talk about AI in business. We're also going to talk about podcasting. We're going to talk about business psychology. So many great things that we're going to cover in these business success challenges. The best part, they're absolutely free. No cost whatsoever. But you do need to sign up to get on the mailing list so you can find out when they are happening. Go to freshmediaworks.com slash success challenge. Get your email in there. Don't miss out on this great series of free business success challenges. And don't forget, it's uh, Victoria Farmers Market, Patty Dotson Public Health Center, uh, 9 to 1. The Goliad Market Days are also uh, this weekend, Saturday, and that's downtown Goliad, 9 to 3. Let's see. We have a benefit for Jonathan Luck, and that is this Saturday also. Ramirez Transmission, 2701 South uh, Laurent. It's, uh, he's got kidney disease, and he needs treatment, and it's a fundraiser for that young man, barbecue chicken meal. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then this one, I don't know if I'm going to have time to get to it, but I sure would like to. They invited me. This Saturday, Nursery Elementary PTO Spring Fling. You know, those school functions are always great, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They are 11 to 3 out there at Nursery Drive. Uh, the, the school is hosting it. Carnival, barbecue plates, raffle, concessions, all kind of good things going on. Petting zoo. So we're there for that. And then Sunday, one more for the bicentennial, sir. Uh, mm-hmm. Today, Leon, uh, Honorary Mass, that's going to be at St. Mary's Catholic Church. Uh, that is at the church itself, starting at 1030. And, you know, it's a great weekend of activities. Are you going to be able to, well, you're doing the Victoria Day of Caring. That's one of them right there. Yeah. So I'm telling you, uh, Chris, a lot of stuff. I mean, a yeah. lot of stuff going on. And then throw in, I went to, last week I did the girls softball game uh, between East and West. We had strikeout cancer. Hats off to the girls, both schools working on that. I made it to the East-West baseball game, too. And, boy, they've had some wing dingers, haven't they, between those two teams. That was great. Uh, So a lot of stuff there. And uh, next week, you know, as we get closer to uh, the uh, end of the month, so many more things. I do want to bring up this one, though. I went to Warriors weekend. Uh, We Mm -hmm. had their muster this past Saturday. And, brother, you talk about, uh, I mean, that's a great event, raising funds for our veterans, our uh, wounded uh, warriors, our soldiers that come down here and uh, raise some good money. Community Center, we have about 800 uh, down there of people raising money for a great cause. I know you've been a part of that, and you know all about that, don't you, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's that's what it's all about, though. Everything we do is just, you know, trying to help out those who need some help. Well said, sir. That's what it is everywhere. And what we do is trying to help others. And, again, I want to give this one more plug right here before we start to close it out, sir. Uh, This past week I was in Formosa, and I want to give them a plug on your show and on our show. Yeah. Uh, They invited me up there to take pictures to give $5,000 away to 
charities of my choice. Yeah. And I chose two of them. We went down there to take pictures, and we gave $2,500 to Adopt-A-Pet, $2,500 uh, $2, to Dorothy O'Connor, and uh, they were tickled pink, the recipients. Yeah. I was tickled pink that we could give it to them, and Formosa, hats off to them. Right, brother? Oh, amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that, that was good. I just want to bring up a couple of things. And Chick-fil-A this past weekend, that Young Life run, 600 runners, Chris. Wow. 600. Raised 61000 for Young Life. So there's some. Wow. We're really hitting the right spots, aren't we, sir? Oh, yeah, definitely. And and I can't say enough good things about uh, the ownership of Chick-fil-A, David Murphy and his wife. I mean, they, oh, yes. they are such good people, and they've done so much for the community. Yes, they have. Well said, sir. I'm glad you brought that up. And when I brought it up, and I was I would allude to the Murphys all the time, they do a lot of good for our community. They're good people. And there's another way to look at it right there, through other people, and uh, right people notice what they're doing, so they're good. All uh, right. So I think, sir, uh, we'll get into next week. <laughs> oh, after this weekend, the first part of the week, wow. And it's just going to get, say, as busy as or even busier coming up. Yeah, and and stay tuned because myself and Terry Moten will be having an AI summer camp for teenagers. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. Fantastic. And you and Terry and Dynamite uh, duo right there. And uh, I love Terry, and you know what I think about you already, buddy. Uh, just a lot of good stuff going on, man. And thank you. Uh, Chris, for always being there and allowing us to get the word out and, and uh, give uh, kudos to people who are out there doing good things. Thank you, sir. Well, you get out there and enjoy the rest of your day. You too, good buddy. Take care. Gosh, I want to thank everybody that played a role in this show. All the great interviews, of course, Brother Gary Moses could not be possible without him. And, of course, the sponsors who made this show possible. Please go out and support those nonprofits. Go out and support your local artists. Go out and support these businesses that help share This Week in Victoria. Until next time, for This Week in Victoria, for Brother Gary Moses and myself, enjoy This Week in Victoria, and hey, keep it real.